cooking segment brought to you by Creative Kitchen and Bath, where you will always cook in style. Welcome back to Midday Kentucky. We are here at Wild Time with chef extraordinaire, Miss Allison Davis. And I've got her cooking, and I'm just going to watch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't want that. Yes. <laughs> Believe me. Um, I'm cooking sausage right now. You are. Yes. Yeah, so um, we are. Flour. Yeah, we're talking all about southern specialties this yes. week. And um, another one of my faves, uh, especially my daughter, um, is biscuits and gravy. I don't think there's more southern breakfast items so than either. that. It's yeah. Literally, I think it's my all-time favorite of all yeah. of them. I, I love it. Um, so we have some biscuits that I've got just out of the oven, and we are going to make up a little gravy. Um, first thing that I'm going to do is start with uh, sausage. Now, one mm -hmm. thing you could do, um, and I'll show you because I had some bacon cooking off. Yeah. If you um, don't have enough fat rendered from your sausage, say you've cooked up some bacon, you can take those bacon drippings and just kind of like pour those, you know, right into right. the pan, and that'll give you a little bit more grease as well. Gotcha. Uh, because idea. you need uh, the fat, you need the grease in order mm -hmm. to make a gravy because we're making a roux basically to start the gravy process, okay. which is fat and flour, uh -huh. right? So I have just some all-purpose flour. Okay. Um, we're going to keep browning up that sausage, but um, we're going to add a little bit of flour now okay. to it so that we can coat the sausage with flour. Got a gotcha. little bit on you there. <laughs> and um, not add it later because if you add it to the milk once you put the milk in there, then you're going to get those clumps, clumps. right? Yeah, so yeah. if you add it at this stage and it goes on the outside and coats the sausage, yes. you're not going to have that clumping happening like Another you would if you were to add it later. Awesome tip. Awesome. I right. love it. <laughs> so you're still browning a little bit, and then we're going to season with some salt okay. and pepper. Um, I've got a hot sausage here because, again, you know me, I like the kick, but you, you can like go the with kick. mild. Um, anything would work, yeah. uh, really, in this case. I've never really I've tried it, here, honestly, with the, with the spicy sausage. I always get the mild all yeah, the time. Yeah, so I love spicy and I'm I even have to try it. a touch of cayenne that I add into my gravy. Ooh, and nice. then one other thing, uh, well actually two other things, I have some sage. Now sometimes you can buy like sage sausage that may already yeah. have that sage flavor, but I love a little bit of rub sage yeah. in my gravy. So we'll just take a little bit what of that dry. What about fresh? We are you can certainly summer, use too. the fresh too. So if you have some fresh sage grown in your garden, just yeah. mince that up and I throw it in. I didn't add sage to my garden this year. Did you? Yeah. You have it? Yeah, you I love probably it. use it and a lot. And sage more than actually I do. is really hardy, so it'll keep going even past the summer. Oh, and will it really? Yeah. Maybe I'll grab um, some. And there's also purple sage, which is great for your garden. Just oh, a side note. Nice. Um, we're going to add nutmeg into this. And nutmeg, I think, is the key for a really good gravy. Um, I've got this little nutmeg grater. Yeah. It's really fine. And then you can just see all that fresh nutmeg coming out. I do see it. And you know what? Honestly, I've always used the powder. I've never yeah. used fresh. This is going to give you such a better flavor. And really? it's going to keep longer as well yeah. um, than the dried. Oh. All right, so now our flour is getting mixed in with our sausage. Our yep. sausage is getting cooked. Um, so we're going to add our milk in. And this is really just, you know, I'll, I'll give you a ratio on the website um, as mm -hmm. far as how much milk to how much flour. But I really just go more by the consistency. Yeah. So I'll start with, you know, maybe two cups of milk. And then once it comes to a boil and the milk is nice and hot, yeah. you'll feel the thickening power of the flour, yeah. and then you can add more. Some people like a thick gravy, some want a much thinner gravy, uh -huh. you know, depending on how big it's your biscuits you. are. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. up to you. So you can always add two. Yeah. You can't take away. Yeah. Um, but if you do, for some reason, add too much milk and it's a little bit runny, you can take a little bit of this uh, flour, yeah. stir in a little bit of water to smooth it out, yeah. and then just pour it right into your add gravy. That, and that'll help yeah. thicken it up. That's a good trick. Yeah. Good. So we're going to let this kind of come up to heat. Okay. Um, we'll taste it and season it if we need to do anything else. And pour it right over those biscuits and gravy Very and nice. have us a nice big southern brunch. Mm, yum. <laughs> I love it. For this recipe and many other recipes, head over to our website at WTVQ.com forward slash Midday Kentucky. Go to the recipes tab or you can head over to Miss Allison's website at wildtimecooking.com and that was a mouthful there. <laughs> um, you can also find me on Instagram at Chef Allison Davis. And we'll be right back right after this short break. Keep it right here. I can't wait to dig in. Mm.